The last time we went inside R&D here at Wizards of the Coast, five guilds took the spotlight and much of the power as we returned to Ravnica. Now it's time once again for us to twist and turn our way through the highways and byways of Magic's most famous city. Five more guilds await inside R&D, Gatecrash. Well, so as you know, uh, if you're anybody, if you haven't been living under a rock, Ravnica is our city-covered plane. Uh, it's a place where these ten guilds, each with two colors of mana, vie for power and control over this endless city. Uh, in Return to Ravnica, we showed you five of those ten guilds, and now we're going to show you the other five in Gatecrash. Uh, it's called Gatecrash because we want you to see some significance in the word gate. So once we knew the way the guilds were breaking across the two sets, it kind of lent itself to a particular story across the two. So the Izzet were very involved in the first set. They are setting up a, a mystery of sorts. They're, they're investigating. They have a grand experiment to look across all of Ravnica and, and discover these clues that's leading to something. When we pick up in Gatecrash, there's uh, that activity that the Izzet have started to set up has has raised tensions. The other guilds are suspicious. There's no guild pact anymore to govern the guilds and keep them off each other's throats. The Demir are working behind the scenes as the Izzet are trying to discover all these secrets. And the more the Izzet discover, the more of an opportunity it is for the Demir to swoop in, let the nice mad geniuses do all the work, swoop in the last minute, seize whatever it is they've been, they've been re researching and use it for their own benefit. When we first decided we were going to go back to Ravnica, we wanted to do things a little differently than before. So one of the ideas we had thought about doing was having all the sets come back, all the guilds come back in the last set. But in order to do that, we needed to put all 10 guilds in the first two sets. And how are we going to do that? So we tried like, you know, six and four and none of it worked. And so I suggested, I said, well, I know a way we could just make both sets large, and that way we could do five and five. Now, we'd never done a large set in the winter before, but hey, if ever we're going to do it, how about Return to Ravnica? Previously, I had uh, been the lead designer of Mirrored and Besieged, and I was brought in to be, at first, just a team member of Gatecrash. And, uh, and then a plan was devised that midway through, Mark Rosewater would hand off the lead design of Gatecrash uh, to me. He would remain on the team, I would become the team leader, and he would start lead design of the next set down the line. Um, so this was a great opportunity for me. I was very excited. I was already, you know, happy to be on the team. Uh, and, I mean, I loved the original Ravnica block um, and was a holdover from them because from then I'm kind of an old timer. So I had already been on the development team of the original Ravnica and the design team of the original uh, of Dissension, which was my first development team and my first design team. When I came in to Gatecrash development, it was very interesting because Return to Ravnica had already entered the Future Future League when I joined Wizards. So all the guilds had already been set up completely. So when I came in, I just had this model to work with. I didn't help create it. I was just dropped into it. Here's the five guilds you're going to be working with. But it was very inter interesting how they'd set it up, right? Because we have uh, some aggressive guilds. We've got Boros, we've got Gruul, we've got some more controlling guilds, and we've and Demir, uh, and Orzov. And Simic is kind of, you know, it could be both a mana ramp strategy, it could be an aggressive strategy, all kinds of cool stuff going on there. And to model these in a, a totally new light from the Return to Ravnica guilds was interesting and a challenge because I didn't know exactly how the Return to Ravnica stuff had been designed. So I had to kind of look at this from a whole new light, which really created a good perspective for me, I think, because I was able to look at what was happening with Return to Ravnica as it was happening in the Future Future League and model it for Gatecrash. Working on Gatecrash design was a lot of fun for a lot of different reasons. One of the reasons it was very fun was that I got to help structure both sets kind of at the same time. There were a lot of ways Gatecrash spoke to Ravnica and there were a lot of ways that Ravnica speaks to Gatecrash. And it was a lot of fun just figuring out what the cycles were going to be, the two color charms, influencing what all the guild mechanics were going to be, even which guilds were in which set was, was a back and forth. And I'm, I'm very happy with the way Gatecrash ended up.